Well, I'm Gene Fitzgerald. I'm a professor in material science and engineering here at MIT. My research focus has been semiconductor materials and integrated circuits. And um, also, I've been involved in innovation work since we became focused on how research translates into the marketplace. I was fortunate to start my career at the AT&T Bell Laboratories where um, it was pretty much ground zero for you know, innovation productivity. It was really a fantastic place to work uh, during the, the information age. There we were fortunate enough to discover uh, something called strain silicon, which is a way to improve silicon integrated circuits, which are the foundation of modern electronics. And um, during uh, that time period we started with experiments at 4 Kelvin in order to prove that we had this uh, new material uh, but because it was silicon we could tell that um, in the future we'd be able to manufacture probably in current uh, manufacturing infrastructure so that way uh, you could see that the future is pretty bright once we uh, did that 4 Kelvin experiment but then um, it was a much longer path to actually get that to the marketplace and into products one thing I learned uh, from the beginning uh, of strain silicon discovery all the way to uh, seeing it finally enter the marketplace is that the sort of linear picture where people imagine doing research and then it leads to a next stage and a next stage. Um, although historically accurate in hindsight, uh, that's not really the process that happens during um, uh, you know, bringing a, a basic research idea all the way to the marketplace. Uh, we learned that um, it's an iterative process and that uh, you have to get results and you have to be thinking about actually the applications and how you might build it in the future commercially uh, even though you're in the research stage. And if you constantly update all of, different, all of those different factors, then it kind of allows you to um, have a higher chance of, of finding that innovative impact in the marketplace. We wrote the book Inside Real Innovation because we could see that the innovation ecosystem in the United States had changed. When, when the corporate laboratories like Bell Laboratories uh, faded into the past, uh, there was a tremendous gap between uh, sort of real forward-looking work at universities and uh, corporations that typically are more able to bring uh, products to the marketplace. So that motivated the, uh, us looking at innovation and then writing about how that process actually functions in, in our book.